is now the time for that. Um, coming up with ideas there, Lyrical. Yeah, it'd be nice if something like that worked out. I know things are very stressful for you currently. Should we go get like some jobs and such? Wait, one over here. Oh, this is like the Thief or Red Mage one, I believe. So do we do the entire side quest over again? Or does it like skip to the main parts? Let's find out. Need water. Ah, they just keep coming. Go on, after her. Sir. You're doing a good job, Jackal. Who? What do you want? Look, if you can't tell, I'm freaking busy here. Don't just stand there looking, Stu. Okay, then we'll help. Wow, you're really in charge here. <laughs> yeah, well, just call me head of desert security. A no good ruffian like myself. <laughs> Moving up in the world, aren't you? Water's still a problem, though. I suppose you know who is in our campus now, looking for the Wellspring Gem. Okay, so it is an abbreviated and kind of shorter version then. Wait, so our campus, so over this way then. So it does account for the fact that you have done these side quests once before. Tago's also a no good ruffian. Wait, does it have to be day in order to get this side quest? going but yeah soon enough lyrical you got your chance there at least not at work i suppose um over here hey we have a party chat moment <laughs> do i, I want to read this out um how about no <laughs> how about i don't me thinks let's just let's just watch it play out <laughs> is what we'll do. And then we'll go and do the side quest there. Is what we'll do. Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> Interesting. I love how you just take like a break from the story just to and main stuff. Just to have like a conversation about random things like that. Or even better yet, the story tent. Just have a cutscene itself of random conversations. I actually love it. That's um. Oh, right. DeRosa is working here as an adjunct professor. So, there's a water shortage. Is that right? Hmm. How would outsiders? Ah, oh, it's you. You don't have to explain everything, but we will have some Alcampa noodles. Of course. One large, two regular, and a firm, right? No matter how many times I hear it, I just can't get over it. You really are an adjunct professor, aren't you? Indeed, just as I said. I know what I know, and I put it to good use. Mm. Yeah, what about the war? Oh. <sighs> Another bowl! And extra noodles! Hey, idiot! Watch it with the soup already! We haven't found the water we need for the refinement process. Mmm, that bowl. So creamy and rich. Cook, more for me too, if that's alright. Of course. Be my guest. It's even spicier than I remember. So, you're still trying to harness somnial energy? As I recall, it's more stable than the crystals and could help bring peace and prosperity to the world. But during refining, the energy is highly unstable. The slightest error could wipe out a city, right? And you want to harness this energy to... Uh... Why was it again? <clears throat> Though it may seem out of character for me, it is purely in the pursuit of science and to sate my curiosity. Glad to hear it. All right, then. You? Shall we tell him? There's going to be a lecture on the Wellspring Gem, an ancient relic said to produce vast quantities of water. What's this? And you're willing to share this information with me? 
Knowing you, you'd have snipped it out anyway. Just don't get any ideas about going after it on your own. Consider it our payment for the soup. Ah, that hit the spot. Yeah, so I guess it is a uh, similar but shorter kind of version of the original. I'm glad it isn't just like using the exact same cutscenes of the of the original side quest here over. Thank goodness for that. And so, in a very real sense, it was the Wellspring gem that allowed the Harina dynasty to grow and indeed prosper. Further illustrated in the desertification of the continent and the loss of this ancient treasure, spelling the dynasties. Oh, there's the bell. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Same old, same old. How about you? I wasn't able to dig up anything new either. All right, then. Might as well wake these two up. DeRosa left earlier. He seemed like he was in a hurry. I can't eat another slurp. Well, maybe one more bowl. And... Make it a large. Good grief. Alrighty, so now do we just go to the place and do the battle? Maybe. It's very nice that it's much shorter like this, considering side quests before were like over an hour. I feel like this is not going to be taking me over an hour. I can't afford to have it take over an hour anyway, considering, you know, we've got that Smash Crew battle coming up soonish. Alright, so now we go over here. Now listen, if you want to be a real bandit, you gotta follow the rules. No exceptions. Right, boss. Rule number one, don't steal from anyone weaker than you. Rule number two, uh, we'll finish this later. Go on, scram! Quite the impassioned lecture. Training the next generation? Yeah, that's about right. What about you? Why are you here? We've been researching the Wellspring Gem in our campus, and we found out some things. You did, did you? Right, like about that place to the west. The ruins you used for your hideout. The secret tunnel, entrance near the big chair. You know what I'm talking about, right? Well, yeah, I do, but how did you... Yeah, I guess we now go to the thieves' hideout and <laughs> go to the entrance behind the big chair. <laughs> I suppose. Well, time for 500% speed again. Okay, that's 500. Um, oh, it's only hitting about 300, though. Oh, well, it's still hella fast. I set it to 500, but it's only hitting about 250 to 300-ish, sadly. Oh, well. Oh, well, what you gonna do? It's still hell. It's still hella fast. So I mean, we away we go. I'm too fast for those traps to get me. What's here? Ether. Cool. Away we go. Oh yeah, I have the dungeon trap immunity thing on, just for situations like this, which is nice. 700. We need to go further beyond. It can't even hit 500. Is the thing though like if I switch to my DVD layout here the, my transitions aren't even working look I set to 500 it's only hitting just over 200 right now is the thing though so it doesn't feel like it's going any faster <laughs> I don't think um yoink high potion buy potion that's such a stupid joke um but yeah I don't think it's going any faster for now look how fast I am I look a lock chest Ooh. Ah, it's too fast. <laughs> Jeez, the music going crazy is. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Increase its power. So again, what do you mean increase its power? Ah, ah, ah. 
Okay, back down to normal speed. Whoa. Okay. Yep, yep. Hmm. What is it, you? It's just a Professor DeRosa and the Jackal. I could swear that I've met them before. I just can't remember when or where. Are you sure? Both of them? Maybe you ran into them when you were studying at Al Campus. I don't know about that. Jackal was busy causing trouble here. And you graduated long before DeRosa joined the faculty. Right, right. It's just so strange. Men of such noble spirit should have made a strong impression on me, so why can't I recall them more clearly? <laughs> noble spirit, eh? Well, yes. The Jackal selflessly helps the people of the desert, protecting them from peril, while DeRosa devotes his life to seeking a new energy source that will bring lasting peace and prosperity. I mean, what could be more noble than that? You're right, but they did seem a bit rough around the edges. Yeah, and there's a good reason for that. Jackal may be head of desert security now, but back in the day, he was the leader of a notorious bandit gang. He attacked innocent people who came to the Oasis for water and stripped them of all their money. What? A bandit leader? But he's barely older than me. I know, right? But he lived on the streets and had to grow up fast. What about the guy in red? What's his story? He was even worse. He manipulated the hearts of women to bring down an entire country. I still can't believe that conniving old lech is trying to solve Lux and Dark's energy crisis. Yeah, I know that people can change, but I have a hard time buying the new versions of those two. Mais je suis impressionné. You have such interesting friends. But I'm worried there's going to be trouble if they're both seeking the same relic. Yeah, especially after what you just told us. It reminds me of the hooligans who used to lurk in the back alleys of Al Campus. <laughs> yeah, those two definitely fit the bill. Right. Just like the crooks I used to chase down in the back alleys of Eternia. You, did those hooligans in Al Campus ever hurt you? Yes, but I always got them back. Or, well, Jan did. What a wonderful new episode of Story Tent. Um, back in the chair there. <laughs> Kinda. Tacos. Okay, we need to go even further beyond. <laughs> That's so fast. We. Okay, slow it back down again. Slow it back down again, I say. Oh, back to regular speeds. Okay, I think I might restart that. Oh, freaking friend bot was updated. Thank goodness. Who needs friends when I have a friend bot? Save complete. Cool. I'm gonna restart it now because I know messing around with its speed like that can make the cutscenes a bit wonky. So let's just give it a good old refresh here. This is what we do. Now we got Red Mage. Um, hi there. Huh. So this is what happened. And this must be the Wellspring Gem. With it, the Oasis will grow verdant again. Hey, I remember you. The Red Mage DeRosa, was it? Eureka! The Wellspring Gem. The key to producing safe, stable Somnial energy. So it was worth it after all, to brave the desert sands and follow you to these ruins. What are you going on about? Like heck if I'm gonna hand the gem over to some decrepit con artist! It stays here in the desert, where it belongs. No, the Wellspring Gem belongs to all humankind. I'll not see it wasted on sand for brains wretches clinging to a life they should have abandoned long ago. Hey, you lot, don't just stand there. Tell this madman what the deal is. We came here to bring water back to the people who need it most, right? Come on, tell him. Idiot. As daughter of the Grand Marshal, I know you will not be swayed by crude emotion. You understand that I do what I do for the future of this world. Join me and we will silence the Jackal. Oh, 
You want a piece of me, old man? Why, you insolent little... So now what? We have two choices. Help the desert dwellers by restoring water to the oases. Or help with an experiment that might usher in a future of peace and prosperity. Do we protect the desert oases and fight Red Mage DeRosa? Or do we fight the bandit jackal in hopes of harnessing somnial energy? Our choices are clear, but which is the right one? Um, I don't care about getting the right one. I care about freaking, uh, getting all the asterisks is what I need. So we got Thief before by helping DeRosa. So now we'll get Red Mage by helping Jackal. Is what we'll do. So, yeah. What's this? You dare to stand in the way of progress? Alright, defeat DeRosa and you'll obtain the Red Mage asterisk. Oh, so it forces you to choose the other one, so you can't, you know, make it impossible for you to get all the asterisks. That's probably a good thing. For heaven's sake, girl, you're as stubborn as your father. But if it's a battle you wish, let's show them a good time. Hmm. And here I was, doing honest work for a change. Oh well, it's been a while since I could let my hair down. Please, don't mistake the Red Professor for some fusty old academic. The former captain of the Blood Rose Legion is as feral as ever. Red Mage Fiore de Rosa will take you down for science! Okay, sorry, I was typing something there. Okay, let's get back here. Um, oh yeah, I gotta examine him a whole bunch. Okay, everybody gets an examination. Oh, they don't hit very hard there. Huh. Ow, rude. Very rude. The love tap? What, that just gave him a BP? What the heck? Um, all right, let's see here. Let's put a benediction wall on him. I assume the apprentices there probably don't have a whole lot of health. Actually, now nah, let's wait here. This is what we do. Let's go ahead and wait. I just need to do two, not three. See if they're weak to anything by chance. Oh, he's braving a bunch. Put a benediction wall on him so we can use him to heal. I don't know why he did that. They have full health. But okay. But okay then. Yeah, they barely have any health. He has a lot though. He kind of has a ton. Oh, they they do the love tap and then they freaking get the benediction wall. That's kind of funny, isn't it? Well, you know. Let's go ahead and mug all of them. This is what we do. And then, yeah, Tiz may as well just go after DeRosa since he's the one with the benediction wall, I guess. Get some ethers and stuff. This is what we do. Yeah, there goes half their health. Maybe I should have attacked the other dudes with Tiz there. I just wouldn't be able to spam Phoenix Flight on them because they don't have a benediction wall. This is the thing. Okay, there goes a whole bunch of itself. Here I go. I did target one of the apprentices with this, right? I believe. Yep, there goes one. <laughs> there goes one of them. <laughs> They're freaking healing off of my benediction wall. I can't believe it. Any weaknesses there? No. Okay. Can't believe they're using my benediction wall to heal. Unbelievable. Well, let's just put on freaking wind, because I don't know. Sure. I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, I shouldn't have used Benediction while- oh, crud. Oh, crud, man. 
All right. Goodbye. Who would you bow? Okay. Many questions. No multitask activating, though. Feels bad. No multitask at all that time. Nice tiny heal. Ow. So unbelievably rude. Let's just, um... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. Time to start spamming Phoenix Flight. That's what we do. Wow, a bunch of them missed. What the heck? Okay, now, time. now they're hitting. Oh, is he gaining BP for that? Oh, that one time he did. Maybe it, oh, no, sometimes he does. That does make things a bit scary, honestly. Oh my. Well. Please don't gain another BP. That would really suck. Not another one, please. Well. Alright. He still has the wall on him, so I mean. Just default a bunch. Good thing I did that while he was braving a whole lot. Hmm. That mage is all about BP gain. Huh. Interesting. Let's do this just in case he charms anybody again. That's what we'll do. Innocence missed. Just in case he casts charm. Which he's not now. After I casted the Innocence Mist. Hit. Who we about? Keep the butte. Shoot him. Shoot him with the wind gun. Why are we not activating multitask? There we go. <laughs> my oh my. If you gain weak magic and dual casting, that's the MO of Red Mage in this. Huh. Gotcha. I don't know why I have MP recovery on Magnolia when she never even used MP. I'd like no other good skills to give her. I should give her literally anything else though, but she doesn't use that one. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. Time to start spamming Phoenix Flight again. This is what we do. Should do a decent bit of damage. I wonder which class is the one that gives, like, the HP up skills. I thought it was Monk, but apparently not. Because the more, H the more HP Tiz has, the more damage he's going to be dealing with Phoenix Flight. Maybe something to look into for next time. Maybe, maybe. Oh, he's gaining a bunch of BP now. Chain spell echo and spellcraft is just about the most broken thing in this game. Yeah, makes sense there. Multitask, nice. Well, ow. He's not charming anybody anymore. He doesn't want to show off his charms. We could probably just finish him off. Like, just max brave right now. Eh, whatever. Let's build up our default points anyway. That way we can do this first and get some buffs. Bonk. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Yeah, this is this has been pretty easy, huh? I don't know. Hit him with that. Yeah, let's just do this. This is what we'll do. <laughs> Well, goodbye, my dude. Um, so much damage there. That sounds spicy there. <laughs> oh my goodness, is Magnolia gonna do it on her own? Not quite, but Tiz will. Tiz will now. Wait, he doesn't have the Benediction Wall anymore. Phoenix <laughs> Flight is doing zero damage. <laughs> the wall wore off. Tiz started doing zero. So hard to imagine a better future. Tiz was doing as much damage as HP he could sacrifice, which was zero. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Um, that's very fast there. You obtained the Red Mage Asterisk. Sweet. And hello, Super Hyper. 
Casts black magic and white magic spells up to level 4. Gains BP at various times. Can use any weapon fairly well. Speciality, revenge, job command, black and white magic. Cool. Look, the water's practically gushing out of the ground! Truly, this oasis is our spring of life. The boss said, if that true when her clowns drop by, give him a glass of cold water. Uh, oh, did he? Ah, uh, oh, well, whatever. Now that's refreshing. Come on, everyone, bottoms up! Oh, it's you. That's one big bowl of soup. Let me guess. They shut down your somnial energy research? Mr. DeRosa went in search of the Wellspring gem, but he never came back. For every five years our research is delayed, the world suffers a decade of sorrows. Wealth disparity between nations ever-growing, the people facing war and starvation, and I can't do anything. I'm helpless. Listen, there is something I need to tell you. It was us who chased after Rosa. You? You were working for the future of mankind. You wanted to bring lasting peace to the world. It moved me a great deal, you know, when you spoke of your hopes and ideals. But the people in the desert needed that water. I couldn't turn my back on them. I chose to help people in the here and now, rather than gamble on a future that's still just a dream. <sighs> I couldn't let him have the Wellspring Gem. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. I, uh... I'm... <sighs> I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna find a way to harness that energy. I don't know how yet, but I'll figure it out somehow. Then I can help everyone, the desert people included. <sighs> I will succeed. I will. All right, we got another asterisk, and that crew battle is supposed to start in half an hour, so... Yeah, I should probably wrap things up here and switch on over. <laughs> Tis with his one HP now. Oh, man. Yeah, we're gonna get things set up, ready to, ready to switch things up with the Nintendo Switch. Um, <laughs> alright, let's save here. So yeah, for those who stopped by and hung out for this game, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. We're gonna switch it up to Smash Crew Battle now, and yeah, so let's set that up here.